It is definitely sticking. I mean, Absolutely. they're getting upwards of nine feet of snow. It's crazy. Yeah, we're talking about intense snowfall out across the West Coast, and then we're talking about very uh, hefty, severe storm potential today yeah. across portions of Alabama and even across the Deep South. Uh, they actually have uh, a few alerts in effect. So this is from the Storm Prediction Center, a moderate level risk. This is a level four out of five in effect for portions of Arkansas through Texas and even across northern portions of Louisiana. And this threat also extends into Alabama and even portions of Tennessee. It's associated with this cold front that's actually already making appearance across the state of Maryland this morning. So right now it's just bringing us some very light rain showers, some drizzle and even mist and fog out there this morning. Uh, so you will need that umbrella before you head out the door, but no severe weather is expected this morning throughout the mid to late morning hours. So right now we're talking about a lot of that precipitation, mainly focused to the south of the area this morning, where it's looking a little bit more steady. Uh, it's looking a little bit lighter across our northernmost communities. Right now, northern Frederick County is dealing with some more of that steady rain fall moving through. This morning, our temperatures are starting off mild out there. Right now, we're sitting in the mid 40s for most spots, 44 degrees. Look at this. It's a pretty popular number, not just in Haverty Grace, but extending out towards Manchester in uh, Centerville as well. 45 degrees in Severn Deep Creek right now at 50 degrees. So if you have any plans to head out in the yard later on today to do some gardening, I'm giving you the yellow light as we are dealing with some of those showers this morning, but they will taper off by mid to late morning. So by 9 to 10 o'clock, and we will be dealing with highs around 66 degrees, warmer and drier this afternoon, dealing with widespread cold rain throughout a good portion of the day tomorrow with windy conditions, a high of 53, giving you the red light to do that. But the yellow light for Saturday as those showers will still linger into early Saturday morning before we start to dry things out with a high of 55. But winds are going to be very gusty as we head into the upcoming weekend. So Futurecast times it out for us right around 10 o'clock this morning. We'll be saying goodbye to that precipitation, drying things out even further into the afternoon with winds flowing out of the northwest on average around 5 to 15, more in the way of sunshine. Clouds, though, are going to be quick to return overnight. We see a lot of that moisture build in from southwest to northeast tomorrow morning, especially towards the tail end of the morning commute. That's when we can expect that rain to really increase and ramp up throughout the area. And then it's looking a little bit more steady moderate to heavy in nature, closer to the evening time frame for the evening commute home. So you could also be hearing a few rumbles of thunder here and there. And then into your Saturday morning, we'd start to dry things out. Rainfall totals for most spots could add up to about an inch when it's all said and done, and that's taking you throughout your Friday and into early Saturday morning. Localized amounts could be a little bit greater than that, depending on where those heavier pockets of rain set up. Your seven day forecast mid fifties this weekend, drying things out with plenty of sunshine and a mild, sunny, very beautiful start to next week. Back to you. All right, Stevie, thank you. Well, this morning, Vice